Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to replace the battery on this, which is a Dell Latitude 5440. And uh, we have already sourced this uh, battery, 54 watt hour battery, from our good friends on Amazon. Uh, and that gets to a good point. This is not sponsored, so if you like the video, big thumbs up would be appreciated. Um, this battery cost about 130 Canadian, so what, uh, maybe 95, something like that US. It's a lot more expensive than I would have anticipated, but that's the best we could get. This is a, a knockoff battery. It is not a real Dell. Uh, you can tell there's no Dell logo, but it's uh, very similar, and I'm sure it's just as high quality. All right, let's get to replacing it. Not very challenging. First thing you need to do, pull out the screws. And well, you can see we do have specialty tools. You don't need to use them. And in fact, the unit, well, the replacement battery we bought actually came with screwdrivers. Now we just have to take the back off. And uh, the way you used to do that was look for a pry point. They don't use pry points anymore. So you have to take a credit card or something small and just something small and thin, jam it in and pry it around. So there we go. Just let's slide it around. And let's give it the quick once over. Uh, the battery's here. We have to disconnect it here first. That's your hard drive. Uh, that's a uh, 2230 by the looks of it. Just take that screw and that screw out if you want to upgrade it. That's your Wi Fi. You can tell it's got the two antennas. One goes under the keyboard, one goes behind the monitor. RAM. RAM you can just pop out like this. Easy peasy. Pop it in on a 30 degree. Easy to change. Whenever you have this apart, you should always blow this out, even if you're just using your mouth. Um, to make sure that there's no dust because you don't get in here very often. That is the battery that uh, keeps track of the uh, BIOS settings. Well, it doesn't keep track. It powers the motherboard when everything's turned off. It's what's called a CR2032. And you can buy them pretty much everywhere from drug stores to computer stores. Next thing, pull the screws out. Lift up the battery, back it off a bit lift up this little tab and pull the cable off carefully. There we go. It's an up and out. So you don't just back it this way, you lift up and over. Some batteries come with the cable, some do not. Let's see if our new one does. This one does not, so we're gonna have to pull that cable off. Okay, easy enough to do. And just slide that back in. Make sure it's in all the way. Run this down the chase, the race, chase, whatever you want to call it. Put that tape back down. There we go. Put the connector on top and push down. There it is, in. Make sure there's nothing caught under there. Make sure that cable is not pinched. You need to take the screws from the old battery because the, at least in our case the new battery didn't come with it. The problem is they're a pain to get out so you can either use uh, needle nose pliers or something or you can try to pop them out like that with like plain some pressure and then using your screwdriver. However, I'm, I actually have a pair of tweezers so I'm going to use that. It's the easiest way to go. So you probably noticed the way I did that was star pattern instead of going around. Because it's so small it doesn't make that much difference, but I always like to do that. Standard pro tip. One of the things I also found was that I could not get a larger battery for this. I was surprised I could only get a 54 watt hour, and this one, uh, the replacement still just 54 watt hour. And that's it. Put the back back on. Pop it down. If you hear some cracking, don't worry about it. It's expected. There we go. And pro tip, go torque them again after you have done your work because sometimes, oh, there you go, I missed one here. It's easy to miss one or sometimes not quite set properly until you put the other bat, the other screws in and then things come loose. So good, those are all looking happy. 
So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. Subscribe is also always appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.